very special uh, evening. Um, I know that I'm familiar with, uh, or you might be familiar with this face for quite some time now, because I happen to have been, I've been working with, with Brother Scott for quite a long, long time. Um, so I'm here again, working with him, and uh, hoping that we'll have our, a memorable evening. As a matter of fact, we're here in memory of our uh, sister Nadine Scott, who left us uh, not long ago but it's one of those ladies that we will always remember because of her contribution in this community and other places. Uh, before we continue, I just want to let you know that uh, after the past uh, brings in uh, God's intervention by a prayer, we're going to ask for you to, to say a few words on uh, those who actually worked with uh, Sister Nadine Scott over the years I know you all have a lot to say about her. So I'm actually knew her from she was in her teens. And in the church environment, you all knew of her work. So we're going to try and limit you between two to three minutes. I know there are some of us who will want to talk longer than that. Just want you to take into consideration that uh, we have an evening and we have to get out of here at a certain time. So just bear that in mind. At this time, before, I know some people have already started eating because some of us came here pretty hungry. But uh, I'm going to ask Pastor Israel Miller to come and bring God's intervention into the audience and to all of us this evening. Pastor Miller. Good evening, everybody. Uh, we're going to be praying. Can we stand for prayer? Let us pray. A kind of Father and our God, we give you thanks for this moment. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us from far and near as we come to celebrate the life of our deceased sister. We glorify your name this evening. We want to thank you for life. We want to thank you for your presence with us. For in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And that is right and their pleasures <clears throat> forevermore. We want to ask you, Lord, to be with us. Dwell with us tonight as we go through this uh, time of celebration. We pray that your divine guidance will be with us. Direct us in every way so that when we shall have come to the end, we can say truly God has been with us and it was good for us to be here. We pray, Lord, for uh, direction. We pray for uh, 
our chairman this evening. We pray for every brother and sisters who have made it here this evening. And help us not to mourn, as it were, but help us to celebrate. Help us to celebrate the life of Sister Nadine. We pray for strength and courage for those who are here tonight. And we pray for those who are not here. And we pray that you will hasten the footstep of those who should come. And we also ask the Lord to bless the food that is provided. We pray that it will bring some nourishment to our bodies. We commit all into your hands. And we pray that your divine blessing will be upon us and upon the food. We say thanks in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Miller. Uh, so, while we're doing that, and you're enjoying what you're doing right now, if you're free to go up and pay a tribute to Sister Nadine Scott, uh, two minutes, uh, two to three minutes, if you wish. Uh, once again, welcome, and uh, nice to see you here. Pretty good turnout, I'm sure there are people who are on their way. So, the mic is yours for those who want to pay a tribute to Sister Nadine Scott. Okay. I'm going to start out by the song, and then immediately as I finish, after I finish, next person coming along. Don't let us procrastinate. Time is against us already. Mm. <clears throat> the holy hills of heaven call me. To mansions bright across the sea, where loved ones wait and crowns are given when the years of home start calling me. This house of clay. Is but a prison, bars of bones hold my soul. But the doors of clay are going to burst wide open when the angels said, My spirit free. I'll take my flight like a mighty eagle when the hills of home start calling me. I see love once over yonder, their tears are gone. And the hearts are free, and from the throne, my Savior beckons, and the hills of home are calling me. This house of clay is but a prison. Bars of bones hold my soul, but the doors of clay are going to burst wide open when the angels set my spirit free. I'll take my flight like a man. Eagle, when the years of home start calling me, I see love once over yonder, the tears are gone, and the hearts are free. From the throne, my Savior beckons, and the years 
of clay is but a prison bars of bones they hold my soul but the doors of clay are gonna burst wide open when the angels are set my spirit free, I'll take my flight like a mighty eagle when the hills of home are calling me. When the hills of home are calling me. When the hills of home are calling me. Thank you so much, Pastor Miller. Give him a nice hand there. Come on. Honestly, I wish I had a voice like that to sing. I can't sing at all. And I grew up in the church and I still can't sing. Let me ask, let me find anyone here who knew uh, Sister Nadia Scott for over five years? Let me see the hands of those who knew her from five or more. Nobody here knew her from? I say a half fan. Okay, you knew her from? Anybody else here? Four years? Over there, five years or four years? Anyone here who knew her when she was like a teenager? Over there, you're pointing over there, are you? Hold on, three people pointing to each other here. Eeny, man, I'm eeny, meeny, man, I'm Let me see the hands again who knew her for five years or more. Those two. Okay, see, one to my left. Please come up here and tell me what you have known about her in five years. Please, two minutes of your time, that's all we need. And then I'm gonna to come to that lady there in the middle, and there's one over there. If you all know her, knew her for two years or more, there must be something that you know about her that you want to talk about. Come on, come on, don't be shy. Don't be shy, two minutes. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna meet you right down there, so you don't have to come up here. I'm gonna meet you down there. See, draw three. Wow, I like that. You started off. Well, Nadine is my sister. We're sisters. And we all grew up together. All four of us grew up together. And Gilda is here that took care of us. Is Gilda here? I think she might be in the kitchen. But we know her from birth. Yes. And it's, oh yes. Good evening, everyone. Well, we're here to celebrate um, a special, special lady, sister, friend, everything about Nadine, where family is concerned. Um, we grew up together, as my adopted sister say. Nadine was a very loving and caring person, as we all know. But when she was growing up, um, one thing I liked about her was her cooking. She had been cooking from she was a kid. And uh, she was live after I got married, she was living with me for a time and all she cooked was fish. And uh, when, she was, uh, when she decided to go to the Cayman Islands, I was, ang I was a bit angry because uh, I didn't want to 
lose her like going far away. But uh, Nadine is a very strong-willed person and whatever she wants in life, she is going to achieve it. And uh, we all miss her dearly. I do miss her dearly because to this day, um, I haven't grieved yet because it is, I don't know what to say, but um, <laughs> I really miss her. I can't even watch the funeral or anything like that because it's so unreal. But we all know that, we all know where she is. One thing for sure, I know that she is with the angels in heaven rejoicing. Good evening, everyone. Well, I'm the elder sister, and Nadine and myself, we grew up together. I'm always in Florida with my sister. Very loving, very kind, very caring. And as you could see, her smiles, she was always smiling and always a very generous, generous person. And uh, we want to sing one of her favorite songs. Yes. One Sunday she went up, we had a little program. And one of her favorite songs was Josh. Food on My Table. Josh. But that night when she was singing, she said, shoes on my table, <laughs> food on my feet. And that was Nadine. So we just want to sing a little bit of this for her. There's a roof up above me and a good place to sleep. There's food on my table and shoes on my feet. You gave me your love, Lord, and if I I just want to recognize Pastors Dr. and Dawn Marie Wisdom. Please, both please stand, my colleagues and friends and those who are pastors. Good to have you both here. Always nicely dressed, I must say. <laughs> okay, there was someone over there who had her hand up. Go ahead from the mic now, please. There was someone over there. Two minutes. Who, who knew uh, Sister Nadine? Where's that person who had their hand up? That hand has disappeared? Okay, there's a lady there getting up, okay. Good evening, everyone. Ah, oh, how should I start? My name is Sandra. And um, I knew Nadine when she was a little girl living in Jamaica with Mr. Williams. We were, um, I used to go to school in Spanish Town, and in the evenings, Mr. Williams had a party shop right at the square. So in the evenings, before we go up to the country, we would stop, buy a party, get a party, and he would always take care of the kids if he see them walking along the corridor or stuff. Nadine, I did not know that Mr. Williams was not her father because we know her as Mr. Williams' little girl. So when we heard that she was going abroad, you know, because we, both of us were such a friend that I knew she was going away, but we didn't know where she was going. And when she left, I haven't seen her in all those years. Fortunately, it was about maybe three, four years ago. I saw this gentleman because I used to go to the church where she goes. But features change. She was not as stout as when she was in Jamaica. And I was not looking for her in America either. I thought she was in another state. So one day her husband said to me that, um, his wife is looking for some nurses to work. So I said, okay, I might can get another job because I had a nursing job already. 
So I went and I gave in my papers and I did whatever and um, I was sent on a certain case. I went on the case, I did the patient, but something in my head is telling me that I think I know the person here. But I didn't say anything. So it so happened that I remembered her full name. So I went to Jamaica like a month after I got the job. And I said to my sister, I said, when Mr. Williams' daughter I name again, the little fat one we used to run at the party shop with her. And my sister tell me her name. So I said, you know, so I think, say, I she, I see a foreign up here. <laughs> but we still don't say anything. So when I came back to America now, my sister here is sick. So now my sister need someone to take care of her. And this agency provided somebody to go and take care of my sister. So one day I saw the lady who was taking care of my sister and I said to her that I need a reader badge. So I said, but it's the same place where the lady sent me to go and look for that patient. I said, okay. So I picked up the phone and I called her. I said, Nadine, you are from Jamaica? She said, yes. I said, you remember me? She said, no, I don't know who. I said, you remember Sandra, the little Marga girl we used to come out of the patty shop and you used, your father used to give you patty and we go country and whatever, whatever. She said, I'm not sure, you know, come up at the office one day and let me see you. <laughs> so I went up to the office and I sat with her and we chat whole days and whatever, whatever. But um, it didn't last for too long. We wanted back that friendship, but God wanted her closer home. And when I called her, when I came back from Jamaica a second time, she told me she wasn't well. And I told her a few little things. And before I could go to see her, she went to be with the Lord. I still miss her up to today. And um, I know that wherever she is right now with the Lord, she's resting. And I just want to say to everyone, in life things happen. We're to just take it with a stride. We're to just love each other, take care of one another, and just live so that others can live too. Thank you all. God bless. Thank you so much for that party story. Most Jamaicans love party. Um, <laughs> I just love how Jamaicans use certain words, you know. Like some of us say fluffy, some say fat. It's a long time I've heard the word stout, kind of stoutish. Jamaicans. When is the last time you heard that word stout? Kind of stout. Kind of fluffy, yeah. Chubby, yes. Um, you know, I was, uh, Pastor Mill and I had a little chat earlier on about people leaving us. And um, some people are afraid of things like will and all those kind of things. When I, when I was much younger, I... It's something I never thought about, a will and think about death. But as I get older, I realize the, reali the reality of life, that all of us have an appointment with the Lord. Our appointment could be tonight, it could be tomorrow. We don't know, and it's an appointment we all have to keep. We can't say we're not, we're gonna cancel the appointment, we're gonna postpone that appointment. The good Lord takes us young, old, much older, we don't know. The important thing is that we prepare ourselves for that appointment. Very important. So, uh, Sister Nani, sleep in peace. The good Lord know why you're no longer on earth, but you're with him. So we might be here and we've said goodbye to her, but the good Lord say, welcome Sister Nani, we need you. So we shouldn't really, we, we live them wonderful memories of knowing Sister Nadine. And someone spoke about her generosity earlier on. And I am a recipient of her generosity because I've worked with them for quite some time uh, with the different uh, 
gospel events that I've had. So I knew and experienced her generosity. And it's so good to see you all here this evening to remember this wonderful human being. Anyone else who would like to come? I'm sure there are others who experience her love or generosity and maybe not the experience of the patty shop, but other things. So is there anyone else who knew her from a long time ago or even for four years or more in the church? Two minutes, come on, come and say something here. There were hands over there, hands over there, and they have disappeared on me. Anyway, we're going to have some uh, singers later on to minister to us in songs, and I'm sure we're going to enjoy them. Uh, most of them, I happen to have worked with them before, so um, I'm anticipating a really good, a memorable, a good and a memorable evening right here. Still looking for someone else to come up here and talk on behalf of Sister Nadine. Come on, don't tell me that uh, you're shy. You loved her so much when she was with us. And you just want to say a few words. We allow you to do that. Still don't see hands. Well, listen, four ladies came up. Apart from the pastor, where are the brothers who knew her well? Come on, brothers. Don't, don't let me down here. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Another lady. Brothers. Okay. Good evening. My name is Sister Miller. And... I get to know Sister Nadine through Brother Scott. Now, Brother Scott and I had a love-hate relationship. And Sister Nadine was the referee because we fought so much. And we, we got so close that she called my husband daddy and she called me mom. But one thing I love about Sister Nadine is her spirit, she was kind, and she doesn't have to know you to be kind to you. That's one thing about it. She don't have to know you to be kind to you. She was generous, and she was a very loving person. When I found out that she died, it was very hard. It was really hard because of the relationship that we have. But. I don't have to guess if Sister Nadine is resting in the Lord. I know she's resting because she was a very spiritual person. And I know also that she loved the Lord very, very much. So tonight, if you know something about Sister Nadine, don't sit in it. Let everybody who don't know her really get jealous to hear us talk about Nadine. She... To be around her, you can't be sad around Sister Nadine. She always find a way to cheer you up, to make you laugh. She must find a way to make you laugh. And tonight, Sister Nadine, I miss you. I know that you're resting, and I'll meet you in the morning. God bless you. Thank you so much. My new Antiguan friend. We had a chat this evening, and uh, I never knew she was Antiguan. So I said, you know, over the years I've met people from Antigua and Montserrat, and we all sound alike. And I never knew she was Antiguan until she told me she was. I said, you sound just like Jamaica. And she said, no. I don't think so. But I think so. I, if I was unable to identify her accent being an Antigua, then I would not have said that. And I've come across from people from Montserrat and Antigua and Barbuda, and sometimes it's very difficult uh, for me as a Jamaican to tell the difference. And I'm a well, well, well bred Jamaican, so I should be, but they sound alike. But thank you so much, Sister Miller, thank you so much. No, I have not seen a brother yet, you know. I cannot feel away. All the ladies are coming up. I'm going to leave the pastor. See? My friend wouldn't let me down again. 
Pastor, Doctor, Hardly Wisdom. Colleague and friend, big time singer too. Please give John a round of applause for me, will you? John T. WVS right here. Good evening. Hello? Good evening. Okay, I got two people in the room. Okay. Let me talk to these two people over here. <laughs> no, it's all good. Uh, my name is uh, Pastor Audley Wisdom, otherwise known as Audley Rowland, and my beautiful bride over there, Dr. Jean Marie. Um, we're here this evening, uh, and it's kind of strange because we met Nadine through her husband, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Scott, and. Um, we found her to be warm, caring. We found her to be the kind of person that you could talk to in terms of feeling comfortable around to talk to. I wish you understand what I'm, what I'm saying. And the, They used to have some gospel concerts at the church, and we would go. Sometimes I'd perform on the concerts. And they would come to our events when we were having them. For example, like A Time for Love. And Nadine, she was a, she was a spark plug. You know what I mean? She had a spirit that was contagious. She had a happy personality. And uh, at our events, she would love to see me do my little dance. <laughs> and so sometimes she'd be sitting close by and then she'd say, do that dance, do that dance, do that dance. <laughs> and then I would do that little dance and she would smile and she had a smile that would light the whole room up. You know, and um, we truly enjoyed being friendly with her and her husband. And um, she is truly missed. We truly miss her. And this is why, um, one of the reasons why we're here this evening in commemoration of our friendship and, and her, the person that she was. And this is against this backdrop that We want to say to you this evening, don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today. Amen? Tomorrow is promised to none of us here. Each day is a blessing. Each hour, each minute is a blessing. Make the most of it. Nadine made the most of hers, and we truly miss her. And so we're just happy to be here this evening to help in the celebration of Nadine. Thank you so much, and have a blessed evening. OK, can I get to see another brother here? Don't mind having another sister, but if we can find another brother here. Okay, there's, there's a lady in the background there. No, no, she was not. I thought she was signaling to me. Oh, she was? Come up here, my good lady. Oh, I come down there, no problem. No problem, I assist you. I come, I hope the microphone will reach out there. God bless you, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Um, Sister Nadine was such a nice person. And then she married to Scott. I couldn't believe it. When Scott told me that he was going to get married, I said, who is that lucky lady? He said, Sister Nadine. I said, I'm with you all the while, both of you. And you never say anything. 
And we never see one touch one another or go in a way like one who love one another. He laughed me to scorn. But Scott know who I am. And Sister Nadine know who I am. I have a heart attack once, and Sister Nadine take care of me. You know, some people wouldn't understand what that is like unless they are in my spot. And I miss Sister Nadine a lot. I just miss her. Scott is like my son. I take him as my son, and Sister Nadine say the same thing. That he's the one that forced me to go to the immigration place. Because for years I've been in the system, and I never get through. Because my brother moved away, and they couldn't find his address to send the letter to him for him to come with me. And then Brother Scott just, he just get on my case. And said, I didn't say, go. And I go with him, and he take me to the lawyer. And the same day, everything just come true. I go the Monday and the Wednesday, I, I, they write me and send the paper. I can't believe it, because they was going to throw it out. But it's was a good team together. And I know he miss her a lot. I'm just, you know, my prayers goes out for him all the time, because he's like my son. God bless you all, in Jesus. Thank you so much, what the couple did. Green card is not easy to get. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, there's a lady over there. I just want to let you know that I walk to you wherever you are. Praise the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. I know Sister Nettie you know, would want us to praise the Lord if she was here. And we are here tonight to, in remembrance of our dear sister, Sister Nadine. She was a very nice person to me. It's like a daughter. And she helped me a lot. And I love her in life, and I still love her in death. I have her in my phone, and sometimes when I turn on the phone and look at her, I said, why you leave me? You leave me too soon. But I said, God, you gave her life, and you are the one that take it away. And God has a reason to take Sister Nadine in her youth, young days. She wasn't a whole lady. She was a young woman. Then, may the Lord let our soul rest in peace, and may the rest of our family rejoice to know that one day, if you live, you will meet Sister Nadine. Our smiles light up everything. Every dark room you go into, and you see Sister Nadine picture. As you look at her on the wall, she's so beautiful, just like she's alive. God bless you. Pray for Brother Scott as we go along. In Jesus' name. Thank you, but I didn't get your name. My name is Campbell. This is Zoe. Z Zoe. Z Z O E. Campbell. Thank you so much. Those are, as who are going to pay tribute, just identify yourself before you do that for me, if you don't mind. So uh, the gentleman who was playing the music could just give us some background music while we do other things. Thank you so much for all those who have paid their tribute and all the wonderful memories that you have brought to us.
kept us together Remember when We used to climb the stairs Into forever Hey, but something went so wrong Something came out
Long before the dawning Into the break of day Your wisdom finds me And leads me on And never to escape A strength that shall remain It's never fair Recording artist, Brother Derek Scott. Trying to do it on my own. Every time I try to fail down. Got sick and tired of all the pain. I knew I had to turn my life around. Mama said you wouldn't leave me. Said you'll always be there for me, oh. That when I laid my burdens down, I traded shame and for my crown. My soul was in the lost and found, oh. Until I Jesus' blood was my lifeline. Just surrender to his plans. He will make your life worth it. When you're weak, it's when you're strong. I tell the world wherever I go. Since 
Wow, wow, wow. Talking about the lady with a powerful voice. Put your hands together for the daughter of the man I introduced earlier on. I did introduce Brother Scott, but you say what? You know, I have a songbird in my family. My daughter, let her lead the way. Kishna Scott, the daughter of Brother Scott. Put your hands together one more time. <clears throat> and now, ladies and gentlemen, the man of the hour, the man himself, Brother Derek Scott. Put your hands together one more time as we welcome him to the stage.
Amen. Praise, praise God. Amen. Praise God. It's good to be here tonight. Amen. Amen. Celebrate Sister Nadi. Amen. It's all about her tonight. Amen. Praise God. Where 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. Amen.
feeling all right? Amen. 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 We're here to celebrate Nadia. Amen. It's all about her tonight. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. 
Amen. Praise God. I know she's somewhere around God's store right now. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Anytime, 
It's the royal service, free for one and all. When you get in trouble, give this royal line a call. Telephone to glory, oh, what joy divine. I can feel the current moving on the line. Till my God the Father, far in love and home. You can talk to Jesus, that is royal telephone. Or not a combination. Cannot get control of oh, this my glory anchored in my soul. Songs and trial cannot disconnect the line. Telling constant keeping by the fathers and the mind. Right. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amazing grace. Amen. God is good. Amen. God is good. Amen. God is good. Praise God. Amen. True story, the story of my life. Amen. It is no secret what God can do, what He has done for us, He will do for you. Arms wide open, He will pardon you. Oh God, it is no Mama, I don't know what she looks like. Only spin a 
So after all is said and done, praise God tonight. There's a bright side somewhere. Amen. Amen. There's a bright side somewhere. There's a bright side somewhere. Don't you rest till you find it. There's a bright side. I will go in my sacred home. i 
Amen. Praise God. <laughs> what a wonderful and a glorious evening it has been. Put your hands together one more time for Brother Derek Scott and his powerful, melodious singing daughter, Kishka. And of course, put your hands together for the sweet harmony from the beautiful la ladies and the gentlemen. Of course, the band understand wonderful they were. God bless you all for coming out tonight. And I hope we we'll do this again very, very soon. I'm John T. Take very good care and much blessings to you.